Hey everybody, welcome back to I Am Math. Today we're going to be looking at second derivatives of polynomials. Let's begin. Let us consider the first function, s equals minus 16t squared. Let us take the first derivative, so that's ds dt, is going to be minus 16. We leave it alone, that's a constant. Then we apply the power rule to t squared, so we bring down the 2, we multiply by 2 times t to the power of 1, we reduce it by 1. So now we're going to take the second derivative, so we write d squared s dt squared is, again, this is constant, so we can rewrite this as minus 32, and then t to the 1, so we reduce the power of t by 1, so that's going to become t to the 0, or just minus 32. So we're left with a constant. Let us consider the next example, number 2. It's similar to the first one. We have minus 16t squared, but we had another term, 100t. So again, we take ds dt is minus 32t plus we differentiate this part now, this is a constant, so we have 100, and then t to the power of 1, that just becomes 100. So now we take the second derivative, d squared s dt squared, we get minus 32, and then the 100 is a constant, so that disappears, so we're left with minus 32 again. So you notice that these two answers are the same. So try and figure out why. Now let us look at the next example, number three here. We have y equals the square root of five multiplied by x squared minus seven x. Taking dy by dx, this square root of five is a constant, so we bring it out. And then we differentiate x squared, that's gonna be two x, and then we look at the next term which is minus 7x minus 7 is a constant so we bring that out and then the derivative of x is just 1. Now applying the second derivative we have d squared y dx squared is again now we have square root of 5 multiplied by 2 we can rewrite this as 2 square root of 5 and then we take the derivative of x that's just 1 and the derivative of a constant that's 0 so we're left with 2 square root of 5. Finally, let us look at the last example, number 4. What if we have y is equal to b times x, and we're asked to find the second derivative? So we take the first derivative, dy by dx, is b is a constant, so we bring that out, and the derivative of x is just 1. Now we take the second derivative, d squared y dx squared, the derivative of constant is just zero, so the answer is zero. Just some notation. When we were looking at the first um, example, we had s equals minus 16t squared. The first derivative can also be written as ds by dt, or it can be written as s prime of t. These are equivalent. Similarly, if we have y equals some function of x, the first derivative can be written as dy by dx or y prime of x. So these are equivalent notations. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please click like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.